Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on engineering science and one uh, working on it. We've got the question paper which was written in August 2021 that we are going to focus on. Uh, on question number eight, we are given to refer to pick seven and answer the questions that follow. Okay, so the first uh, part on 8.11 is what is the name of the device in fig seven, okay, so this is our fig seven. What is this device? Okay, we have a junction, metal, met, metal one and metal two. So this is actually a thermocouple, okay? So remember that if you are given different metals and a junction, that is a thermocouple. So you're supposed to be able to identify these, okay? So that's a thermocouple in this case, all right? Then on 8.12, name two uses of the device in fig seven. So you see now, if you, you can't uh, identify this, then it is going to be difficult for you to also know the uses of this device because the uses are the uses of a what? A thermocouple. So what are the uses of a thermocouple? So you've got uh, a lot of uses, just pick two of your choice. It can be used for measuring temperatures in furnaces, measuring temperatures, in hard to reach places of machines used as hospital uh, them uh, thermometers, we can use in hospital thermometers, in diagnostics of testing of vehicle engines, all right, in some gas applications such as a boiler, water heater, and oven, as they are used safety features. So if you have got any other factor that you, you need to add, please add those on the comment section so so that someone can even benefit from your what from your points all right so that's what you had uh let's move on to another part which is 8.2 so on 8.2 we are given that when it is applied to an object certain effects can be observed all right name the effect of heat in each of the following cases a block of ice is heated at 100 degrees Celsius, okay? So what is going to happen when we are talking about there's going to be a change in what of fares? So there we are going to have a change of fares. Take note, the question is on the effect of heat, all right? If you are dealing with a steel heated, there is going to be a change of what? Of color. So here there is change of color, all right? Then on 8.3, uh, we are given that a block of brass must be shaped to fit in a hole. The block is of brass has got a mass of 150 kgs. It is heated from 25 degrees Celsius, which is our initial temperature, T1, uh, then final temperature, T2. The specific heat capacity of brass is uh, 380, okay? Uh, then calculate the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of the block of brass. Okay, take note, we are calculating heat in this case, where we know that Q representing heat is equivalent to, okay, so this is 8.3, so Q is equivalent to mass times the specific heat capacity times the change in time, where the change in time simply means T2 minus T1. All right, so we are going to substitute the values that we are given uh, the mass uh, we are given at the mass of the block in this case of brass. Take note, we are dealing with a block of brass in this case. The mass is 150, all right? So we are going to have 150 for the mass. So that is 150 times the specific heat capacity of brass. Take note, this time we are dealing with the brass. So take note, our temperature is in degrees. So it is given also in joules per degree uh, per kg degree Celsius, okay? So we're going to take 380 as it is. There is no need for us to convert this. So this is 380, is that 380? Yeah, that's 380 times the change in temperature, that's T2 minus T1. So you subtract the given temperatures in degrees, 650 minus 25, okay? So this is going to be 650 minus 25. So that is what you're going to have in this case, 650 minus 25. So that's you guys and your calculator. Make sure that you simplify everything properly. Okay, let me insert the calculator so that we can see this, all right? So we are going to have 150 multiplied to 380 multiplied to open bracket 650 
minus 25. All right, like this. This is going to be 3, 6, 2. This, okay, so we're going to have 3, 6, 5, 3, 5, 6. Okay, 3, 5, 6. All right. Then uh, that's 2, 5, 0, 0. Okay, so we've got 2, 5, 0, 0, 0, like this. Okay, so this is our energy, which is measured in joules. So you can choose to leave your answer like that, or you can convert to kilojoules, or you can convert to megajoules. Okay, so let's see. We can have six decimals here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we can convert to megajoules by dividing by one million or by multiplying by 10 to the exponent of negative six. So this is going to be uh, 35 comma six two five megajoules okay so that is what you're going to have in this case if you multiply by 10 to the exponent of negative six or by dividing by one million okay so that was question uh 8.3 all right of the paper let's check that apart um we are now given on question 8.4 a steel measuring tape is uh, 149,925 meters long at a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. And the changes to, okay, we are given, it changes to this length from 149 to this length at a temperature of 34. So this is our initial temperature T1, the final temperature T2. Then at 18 degrees Celsius, which is our initial temperature, this is the original length. So it has changed to this length. This is the final length. They are not giving you the difference in length or the increase. They have given you the final length in this case. All right. So the question is on 8.41 to calculate the difference in temperature. So the difference in temperature, like I indicated before, that's T2 minus T1. So you simply have to subtract T2, that is 34 minus t1 which is 18 all right so if we subtract this properly that's uh 34 minus 18 which is going to be 16 so this is going to give us 16 degrees Celsius. all right so that was the temperature uh difference or the change in temperature uh then 8.42 calculate the difference in length and we are given to convert these two millimeters so the difference in length is supposed to be taken from this formula. Remember that the final length is equivalent to the original length plus the change in length. So we want to calculate the change in length in this case. So we simply have to transpose this. So it is going to be uh, the final length minus the original length, which gives us the change in length. So we can substitute in this case, these values so that the change in length is going to be the final length. Remember that our final length is 150, uh, 005, which is in meters, minus uh, the original length. The original length was at 149, 149,925. All right, so we are supposed to subtract uh, properly in this case, all right? So let's see what are we going to have, but this is in meters, take note. So we put 150,005 minus uh, 149,925. All right. So we are going to obtain 0, 0,08. All right. So this is 0, 0,08, which is in what? In meters. So take note for us to convert in millimeters as given here, we are supposed to take back our conversion. One meter is equivalent to 1,000. Uh, millimeters in this case. So if it is 1000 millimeters, we are going to uh, just have to convert to say 0, 0,8 uh, 0, 0,08 meters is equivalent to how many millimeters you do not know. So you multiply that's 0, 0,08 over 1 times 1000. All right. So if you multiply by 1000, uh, this is going to be 80 millimeters so you're going to obtain your answer as 80 millimeters okay so that was the change uh that was the difference in length or the change in what in length all right uh let's check 8.5 on 8.5 we are now given a strip of steel and uh, a strip of copper is riveted to each other okay like converted like combining okay, that riveting uh 8.51 
what is the name of the strip described? Okay, a strip of steel and a strip of what? Of copper. That's a bimetallic strip. Okay, so this one is a bimetallic strip. All right. A bimetallic strip. Then we are given what is the effect? What effect is demonstrated by this strip uh, described? Okay, what is the effect? Like, uh, uh, where do we use this bimetallic strip? Okay, it is used uh, in the difference in linear expansion of what different materials. So the effect is difference in linear expansion of different materials. Okay, so that is what you can actually give as a as description for, for that one. On 8.6, thermometers are used to measure the temp to measure temperature. Two basic types, namely alcohol and mercury thermometers are used. Write down one disadvantage of mercury thermometer, okay? So we describe these ones, guys, a lot. So the disadvantages can be that it is, it is expensive. It is uh, a, actually uh, a mercury is, uh, a, a, is poisonous. All right. Then also uh, we can have the issue of evaporation on that part. Okay. And also high freezing point. Okay. Uh, there are so many disadvantages. So I want you guys to just list other disadvantages so that others can take from there on the comment section. 8.62, write down one advantage of an alcohol thermometer. Okay. If you're dealing with alcohol thermometer, uh, it is low boiling point actually. It is not easily visible. It is not easily visible. All right. Like uh, adheres to the to the glass to the glass. Uh, then we can have uh, such as does not expand uniformly. All right. So we can take one then. I don't know. Uh, just 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 one of your choice because that is what with us what we have. So any other part that you have, please. Let's have that on the comment section so that others can take from them. And uh, if there is any part that is not clear, let us uh, know so that we can work with that part. Uh, we can revise again the question so that it can be to our advantage. But for now, that's it for Maison African Motives till we meet again. <laughs>